probably enjoyed it. driver's gallery so we've had kind of like a big revamp on our channel and we've changed a lot of things but moving forward we're really excited as you guys have seen we have a new intro thanks to Jake but today we have a special guest and there's a special car we've been working on here that's been in the shop so you guys might know him he goes by Theraflu on Instagram his name's Josh from they did one of the founders and he has his RX-7 FD finally completed and it's actually next door in a detail bay but he'll be here probably within the next hour or so so just gotta wait here and then we're going to pretty much go in depth about his car. Baited and Driver's Gallery have been kind of like in this collaborative partnership for the past couple years since we've started and it's all just thanks to my friendship with Connor and Josh from Baited. We have collaborate a lot on a lot of like events here at the shop and we also do a lot of clothing and stuff like that together but even here at the shop we have you know there are merch and everything all around Josh is finally here. What up, dude? What up? Welcome back, man. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Hey, welcome to the shop. So, um, I was explaining to everyone, like, kind of like the relationship we've had with yeah. Driver's Gallery, Gallery Invaded. So, sure. just kind of wanted you to explain how long have you had Vaded for and, like, how did it all start? So, Vaded was uh, established in 2016, pretty much, as a business, like, officially. Um, and it's an LLC started in 2016 and yeah, basically kind of ran with it from there. And kind of just like, pretty sure it all started in Gatlinburg, right? Like that's yeah, kind of like we, the birthplace of it? Yeah, kind of. We uh, premiered the brand in Gatlinburg with just like a couple pieces and like four cars, I think was the first year we went. We had four cars with beta banners on it and kind of promoted the brand that route. All right, so if you had to like kind of Simplify to someone what Vaded is. Like, what is like, um, what's Vaded about? Like, so I guess like, brand wise, it's kind of like a automotive lifestyle brand is kind of the best way to put it. And then um, build wise, it's um, kind of like eye to detail, intricate and um, complete, if you may. Dope. Yeah. All right, so his RX-7 is actually over in the detail bay, but oh, yeah. we're gonna show a quick clip that Jake put together of the car when he first dropped it off. Throw it in. There it is. Great, brother. Love it. <clears throat> so our detailer, Joe, he did a stage two paint enhancement on it, which is various like buffing and polishing. And then he did an interior cleanup on it, as well as 
cleaning up this gorgeous engine bay, which honestly didn't really even yeah. need too much cleaning, but we uh, we had the honor of prepping Josh's car for Gallenberg, which is in two, two weeks. weeks. Two, two weeks. So yeah, really happy that we were able to prep his car for the show. How did you even come across the FT? So I came across the FT, it would have been two, about two years ago now, almost three maybe. <clears throat> this girl I went to high school with, her name was Haley. She uh, owned the car at the time and it basically sat in a garage for the last 10 years of its life. So every time I saw her out, I would pester her on trying to buy it and purchase it. And finally she caved and let me go pick it up. And what was the original color of it? Because this is actually resprayed in Millennium Jade, yeah. which is a gorgeous color and a really good like choice for the interior too. Um, but what was the original color of the car? So the original color was silver and yeah, we decided to paint it Millennium Jade, which is like kind of like heritage to R34 sedans. Um, came on like the V-Spec models and it was semi-rare color. And then the interior in the FD is red. It's one of 200 in the US with red interior, which is a fun little fact. your quick highlights of the most favorite things you've done to this car like rare parts that you have on it uh rare parts wise um i would probably say like the kit's pretty rare it's from m sport japan um which is a company that like made kits back in the 90s so it kind of like fits the vibe i was after on the car it being a 1993 i really wanted to like kind of like put parts from the 90s on it. So that's kind of the route I went with like the aesthetics on the car. Um, so the M Sport bumper, side skirts and rear bumper um, are definitely like right there on some of my favorite pieces. Um, it has Ganador mirrors on it, which are brand new, um, which is pretty hard to find. You know, mirrors are, those mirrors are like 26 years old now and uh, I found them brand new a couple years ago. Um, they had right-hand drive lenses in them. So I found a company called Final Form. They're big in the FD community and FC, and they uh, sourced me a set of left-hand drive mirrors. Dude, so I'm able to- That's see, so cool. Yeah, so I'm able to see them and they're functional. There's um, like the subtle small things are like the coolest things about a build. Sure. Yeah, for sure. I would say like those are probably like, my two of my favorite pieces um, as far as like rare kind of like 90s JDM um, aesthetic pieces. Very quick because I know a lot of people are going to ask, how much power are you putting down? So <clears throat> right now it's on meth injection and it is putting down about 540 horsepower to That's the wheels. Awesome. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, it's fun. Another favorite piece of the build is obviously the engine bay. Um, it's a Borg Warner turbo. It's uh, actually an EFR 70, or sorry, I messed up. It's actually an EFR 8374 turbo with an SXE front cover. Um, the EFR cover had like, kind of like some stuff that didn't look as pleasing. So basically we put an SXE front cover on it for the rotated setup, just to kind of give a, a better appearance to the car. Um, it also has a V-mount setup, intercooler setup, which is fabricated by Eccentric Motorsports. It's their prototype kit, which is kind of cool, you know, running their, their stuff and it being the first one, which they now have available for other FD owners. Um, yeah, outside of that, it's making about 30 pounds of boost um, on the highest tune. It has tuning on the fly with a Haltech ECU. Um, it's got an AEM CD7 heads up display, which is super dope. And uh, yeah, it's got dual wastegates, tiles, 38 millimeter, which is super fun when those open up. And uh, yeah, there's some awesome weld work and yeah, kind of all ties in together from there. That's awesome, dude. So like <clears throat> any other people that have kind of been like a part of the build that have helped you out that you kind of just want to you know say a quick yeah. thanks to yeah of course um 
So I'd like to say a big shout out to John Paul. Um, he's my painter, one of my best friends. Um, he obviously painted the car. Um, he painted the, the bottom of the hood and the engine bay different, which is kind of a choice that we kind of came up with is to switch it up. Something like you don't see too much in the States, but yeah. also more popular in Japan. So we did like a candy paint in the engine bay. It's like a candy red paint. And then the Millennium Jade on the exterior. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll <laughs> um, yeah, so big shout out to John. Um, killed it on the paint. Fun fact the engine bay was painted in my 24 foot trailer. So we were at Eccentric Motorsports working on it, shaving the bay. Our, like my fingers still hurt, I feel like. I'll never forget how sore my hands were. Um, but we, the motor was out, we were shaving the bay, and basically made a paint booth out of my trailer which is really dope, you know? There's some overspray in there a little <laughs> bit, but we left it just for- <laughs> Dude, it's cool. Numbers. Yeah, um, but John killed it. I mean, he's like, probably like, my biggest thank you, him and Eccentric Motorsports, Zach and Clint, they killed it on assembling the motor. Um, it's, they did a street port and a bridge port as well. So they do, a, it's their own bridge port, which is kind of cool. And Eccentric specializes in rotaries, right? Yeah, they specialize in rotaries, so um, they're definitely capable of building some badass four rotors, which is super cool to see. Everyone loves a four rotor. And uh, yeah, they definitely knocked it out the park with their work. I couldn't be happier with it. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Cool. to pre-mix this, right? Yeah, yeah. Here's a sauce additive. Nice. Yeah. Secret formula. Usually do like one to one. With this stuff, you can do like one ounce per one gallon. But some oils, you gotta do like two to one. Mm. Depending on like what apex seals you have. Yeah. But this stuff works really well with the apex seals, so. It's one to one. If I'm out racing, I'll do like one and a half to one. Hey, were you ever like intimidated to own a rotary just for yeah. like this? Absolutely. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot that like you have to care for, but like I think I've accepted that I just like difficult cars. I so. think I even told you that before. Yeah. 
it seems like a lot, like yeah. change the spark plugs a lot, and like your oil every thousand miles, and then your oil, oil filter every two thousand miles. But that's kind of part of the experience yeah. of owning like this car. Exactly, so. exactly. It gives it character. For sure. I usually try to not top it all the way off. <clears throat> put the oil in and then put a little more gas in. And like this whole math chemical like <laughs> formula here trying to premix his FDRX7. What happens if you like do too much of something? Is is it pretty forgiving or I mean it, it's better to probably it's, don't quote me on this. <laughs> don't put this in the video. <laughs> but it's better it's probably better to do too much oil as opposed to not enough. Like if you don't premix on like a built rotary, like you can you can detonate a motor in a couple hundred miles. Dude, I'd probably detonate my first rotary, honestly. For sure. This mine, is a... mine did on the dyno. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. It didn't like explode. But yeah. It definitely warped apex seals. Concludes the video. Um, special thanks to Josh for bringing the car over to us and for the ride along, the yeah. information, and everything. That was fun. Yeah, this is thanks like for having me. This is like the craziest car I've probably ever sat in. Honestly, <laughs> it is. It is the craziest it is? car I've ever sat in. Can yeah, I get it on officially. paper? Yeah. All right. We gotta, <laughs> we'll ride um, it up. Yeah, for sure. I still haven't ridden in your STI though. Which one's crazier, the STI oh. or this? That's a tough, like, that's the ultimate question. That's the ultimate They've, question. They both haven't been running at the same time, so, like. You haven't 
really compared. I'd have to like drive one one day and then right after I drive the first one, drive the second one. That might be a future next episode. Next is episode, like yeah. When Josh brings STI in the far future though, because yeah. there's some things he's doing to it, but yeah. um, we'll when that there. day comes, we'll probably have to make an episode yeah, out of it. we'll make an episode. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.